In this video, I show you how to create a Google Form. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do watch this video right until the end so the full steps. Any further ado, let's go and jump into this. I'm now on my desktop and let's go and jump straight into this guide. So the first thing you want to do is jump into a web browser and come to a search engine, just like I am. It doesn't have to be Google, but it can be a bit easier. Then once you're here, all you want to do is simply go and search for Google Forms, just like so. Now do keep watching, I'm showing you how to create one and how to go and view the responses and send it to your potential respondents. Once you search Google Forms, then all you want to do is make sure you see this one here, which is the Google address, and make sure it says free online form creator and go and click here. Then all you want to do is go and click on go to forms and it's going to start loading you to the form dashboard. And here we are in the form dashboard. So as you can see, it's going to go and show you any of your recent forms. Here's one I made a few months back. But at the top, you can either go and start a blank form or you can go and check out the existing template gallery. There's quite a few as you can see. But for this guide, I'm just going to go and start a blank one. So I'm going to go and click on this plus. Then it's going to take a minute or two to load. And here we go onto a brand new form. First thing I recommend doing is coming to the top right and clicking on where it says untitled form and just go and naming whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to go and name this example just like so. And that's also going to go and change the form title as well. For the description, of course, just go and type in anything you like. So please answer these questions. And then once you've created the title, we then want to go and start typing in the question. So of course, go and simply go and click on untitled question and it's going to go and highlight this. Then all you want to do is type the question. Once you've typed your question, you can then come onto the right hand side and you can choose what the answer is going to be like and the format of it. As you can see, there are tons of different ones. For this, I'm going to use multiple choice. So I'm going to go and click here. And then for the first option, you can just type yes, for example. Then you can go and click on add another option and type no. And you can also go and choose if you'd like it to be a required question as well. But now I want to go and start another question. So then come on, click on this little sidebar and click on the plus and it's going to go and create a new question. For this one, I'm going to set it as a short answer so people can type whatever they're liking. Now you can also go and create whole other sections as well, which is quite useful. To do that, come on this little bar here and all you want to do is go click on add section. This is going to go and create a whole new section for your form. So you can go and title this and then once you've done that, you click on this plus again and it's going to go and allow you to create a new question. And you can also go and customize the whole look of your form. To do that, come and click in here and you can go and customize the theme. You can also go and click on this eye and you can go and preview what your form looks like, which is really cool. So then you just need to go and type um, these and you click next and it's going to take you to the next section, which is quite cool. And then if you want to go and check out any responses you've had to your form, come back to your form and go and click on responses. And it's going to go and say the number of responses and it's going to go and give you all of your data. And you can always go and open it up within a spreadsheet. As you can see, click on create spreadsheet. And it's going to do a spreadsheet with all your data and export it. And you've also got a few questions as well. But of course, the final thing you want to do is generate your link. So come to the top right and go and click on send. And then as you can see, we've got a few options here. You can go and send it to emails or you can just go and click here and grab a link. You can go and shorten it as well. And then you can just go and copy it and go and post it on social media or wherever you'd like to go and get your respondents from. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.